Hi YouTube, my name's Andy, I'm a UK diver and I just wanted to post a, um, a quick video about uh, finger spools. I've recently gone over to using one and I just wanted to post a quick video on how to set one up because um, it just saves you swearing lots like I did when you first start using them. So, um, right, basically this is your, your bulk standard finger spool when you buy it it's going to be overloaded with line you're not going to be able to use it because it'll be full right up to the brim there which is neither use nor ornament because um, you need to get into the holes here look so you know they're what you're attaching it to you uh, with and through so um, you need to access to them so if the strings all the way up to here um, that's not going to be much use so you're going to have to strip some off um, so just bear that in mind when you're buying uh, one for how deep you need because it's not going to be, if it says 50 metres, um, you're going to have to take 15, 20 metres off that so you're only going to end up with 30, so just bear that in mind. Right, so what did I do first? I got my finger spool home, I tied a big loop in the end, I thought, great, that's brilliant, that, you know, no problem, I can get that through, no worries. Um, and I got my bolt snap, which you normally get with it, and I wrapped it up, and I got the loop. I attached it through and I attached it through there and I thought brilliant there we are that's fantastic nice and safe no problem at all off I went diving problem is it's not safe at all it's a complete and utter hazard as that because what happens is you get in the water everything starts bashing around and it goes like that oh dear and it just unclipped really really easy um, which is a bit of a disaster and unfortunately what tends to happen when it's in the water as well is the string doesn't come off so your spool goes off into the distance leaving you attached to it and by the time you realize that this is 30 meters down snagging around something you roll over and have a look and you're wrapped around in your own string so it's not a good idea that at all um, and it doesn't really matter which way you do it uh, if you wrap it up and then you know put your bolt snap through and put it through that way you know you see this here the little clasp class bit that holds over presses on that that's gone you can do it the other way around as well um, that goes in there uh, and then you say well you know we'll, okay you'll say well fine we'll put that through that way and then that there but again you know same thing it just hits that bit and unclips so uh, just not a good idea guys if you're doing that stop straight away because um, you're going to lose your reel at the very least um, at worst you might find yourself snagged to something you didn't didn't particularly want to be so that's a bad idea so um, how do you set it up well thankfully um, I had a guy who uh, kind of took pity on me and showed me how we do it so um, first of all that loops too small as well looks nice and big up here in the water but by the time you've got great big neoprene gloves on dry suit your DSMB is flapping in front of you that gets narrow really quick so this is how we set it up okay and this is nice and safe it's easy to do and it'll stop you swearing it put it underwater and you'll like it so pull off about 45 centimeters doubled up okay at this end we're going to tie the loop again so we're just going to again no, no fancy knots here just a regular old sort of granny knot as my mum would call them i guess so one we'll trim that tag off that tail end there because we don't want that that, that might catch something or whatever it just looks messy as well so I'll nip that off and then melt that off so it it, it, um, it doesn't fray anymore but I mean the thing is that knot there is is be all and end all if that fails everything sort of slips out and you lost your DSMB and you know you might be floating around in the ocean the boats uh, not looking for you so I've got a good saying in life why have one way you can have two so I always now yeah, anyway um, put a second knot in so if one fails um, I've got a backup one uh, it's just it's just purely preference it doesn't do anything apart from a, a bit of fail safe safety for me um, so so that's that end now what you normally see is if you watch any other YouTube videos and I set these up they then go straight to this end and they tie a little loop in there and that is to help you pull it apart once you've um, sent it up on your DSMB and it's nice and tight around that 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 will help you um, you know undo it again at the top which is fine and we definitely do want one of those but just not yet because over here in the UK like I say we all it's always cold water diving over here um, so we have to wear big neoprene gloves and I'm going to show you how you attach this the reel to yourself safely 
um, and there's a little handy trick I'm going to show you a tip I guess um, of how to make life easy for yourself so the next thing you're going to do is just lay that down like that get it in the middle somewhere about there yeah and we're going to tie and this one you just you just really need a little tiny little loop nothing major nothing massive something about you know that sort of thumb high yeah like that and I'll show you what that's for in a minute okay so we have to do that first because now we're going to go to the end and we are going to put that that end loop in that we were doing that we we're going to do it talked about earlier so we're going to put that in but of course if we did it before by the time you've tied that one on this end loop won't be at the end anymore it'll be off to one side so make sure you do this second and that was learned through um, practice as well and a few swear words but uh, there we are so that's the end loop and like I say that's really important just to help you take it off your DSMD once you've once you've ascended and you're on the boat so that's that and again that wants to be about you know that needs to be about thumb size that's it so that's it so we're all good and set that's how you tie it up when you first start that's what it looks like so your two knots there you loop at the end there and you loop in the middle okay and I'll show you why that is so once this is on the spool we'll wrap it all up now how you want to do this is when it's on the spool so you see the little loop there I'm just looking at yeah you see the little loop there you see the knot is all on one side well try and make sure that when you wrap it up after you dive that loop there stay stood up and that's why you only want it small because you don't want it catching on anything but you do want it stood up yeah and all that's for is in a minute when I show you how to tie it to you properly when you're trying to get it off you can use that with your big thick neoprene gloves to pull it out well, I'll show you that in a second okay so once you've done that you've got this bit here left the safe way to attach it to yourself guys is pop it through the hole like that yeah so you've got a bit of string there in fact, what I'll probably do is you can have a play with this once you've got it tied up because each one's different depending on how, how long you do it. But basically, you just want, I'll probably go to about there and then poke it through. And this, this is why you need access to the holes, yeah? Right, so poke it through about there. So that's it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put the bolt snap yeah, onto that loop there. And again, that's a bit, you know, because if something catches that, there's, it's probably dead easy for that for that. So what you need to do is just wrap it around the shaft once. Can you see that? Let's just do that again for you. I'm just watching that bit this is you can see it. So wrap it around, yeah, and then just open it up and stick it in again. Now you see that bit of string there? That doesn't stop you operating the clasp mechanism at all. Yeah. That's fine. It's still gonna be easy to use. But once it's on you and you've clipped it off to wherever you can see it in the pocket or I, I normally clip it behind me under my wing um, that's not going to catch nothing can catch that class mechanism and undo it accidentally you know it's not going to get caught or anything it's not going to free itself yeah it's absolutely rock solid and safe as houses and even if it did even if it did sort of undo yeah you've always got that sort of secondary secondary loop on that so that's how I do that yeah so it's round the shaft of the double ended bolts that once and clipped it and that's that safe as houses job jobs are good in. so now when you're underwater and you want to attach this to your DSMB okay it's easy this in one hand that in the other undo it and undo it again so that's it so it popped out no problem it's getting snapped off onto you while you mess about now this is where the little finger thing comes in yeah because obviously if you're wearing big neoprene gloves and you're going to find it really difficult to get in there and find the right piece to pull which is a pain and you, like I say you start swearing underwater um, so with that the little loop it's absolutely dead easy you just pull it out look and you've already got a loop you stick your finger in there and then just pull and the whole lot comes out but, you've, but the good thing is look you've already got your hand in the loop yeah ready to that so that's it you know that through your DSMB, pull it through, nice really big loop, yeah, jobs are good. I've just got me, here's one I prepared earlier in typical Blue Peter fashion, so you know, you've threaded that through, underwater, yeah, pull that, and that's it, it's attached, nice and easy, and that'll, 
there you go and you see what that uh, that little loops there for now yeah so obviously if that wasn't there that would be really quite tight and you'd have to start fiddling with your thumb now but of course with this again just give it a pull and then nice and easy to get out yeah so you can see that working there guys i hope you found the tip useful um i can tell you from experience um it really does um, and if you're a UK diver and you're having to wear great big thick neoprene gloves, um, hopefully uh, you'll appreciate it and uh, it'll make uh, using a finger spool a bit easier for you. <coughs> That's some badass, buddy.